Hey guys, it's Clark from Moonmate NFTs. Now, I'm about to show you how to save hundreds, hundreds of hours of your time automating a system to upload NFTs to a website like OpenSea. So if you don't have uh, a smart contract, which is going to just pull everything in, you can just upload single file by single file, uh, which can take a very long time and it is very time consuming on your head, your brain, your hands. So I looked on as many websites as possible to find out how can I get this done? And just, there was just nothing. I looked on YouTube, there was nothing. Uh, Reddit, there was some explanation. Um, but when I sort of was looking through the thread, looking for the video, yeah, there's, there's nothing. There was a guy trying to sell um, what I'm about to show you. So I thought to myself, you know what, when I perfect it, when I get it working, I'm just going to record it and upload it uh, so everyone out there can have it. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is to open up your OpenSea account, make sure you signed in uh, and make sure you're on the collection page. So accounts, make sure you're on my collection, click on your collection so that you make sure that this is everything you have. So uh, you can see oldest to newest, just as an example, make sure you're all there. Okay, make sure add item is at the top. That's very, very important. Make sure add item is at the top. Now open up two Excel spreadsheets. The first one that you're going to want to do is the top one here. This is going to be uh, file name. So whatever your file name, hopefully it's a number system. Uh, so you can see as an example, 30, 31, 33, uh, all the way down to 10,000 as an example. Now you're going to have here. So let's say as an example, you're going to start off with file name. So file name, and it's going to be NFT name. So what you can do is file name and we'll just start from one for this exercise. Let's go one and then moon mate number one. Okay, I'm going to go again and we're just going to get the second one in there so that we can go and do this and just get two done. Now, the easiest thing to do is just to grab these and just pull all the way to the bottom and it will generate all of these numbers for you. Now, What's going to happen is we're going to basically copy from here, drag into here, paste into here and hit open. Then it's going to ask us for a file name. We're going to copy in here. We're going to paste in here. Then we're going to need external link and description. So we're going to get external link is going to come from here and description is going to come from here. So I'll just do that right now. So as you can see, external website description in here. That is all you need to do in terms of copy and pasting. And then you can go all the way down to the bottom and hit create. Now I'm going to do it on Polygon because there's no gas fees uh, for that. So uh, it's going to make the process nice and simple. If you're going to do it on Ethereum and there's gas fees, you may just have to add in an extra uh, step along the way, uh, but it's all going to be automated anyway. So you don't have to worry about that. Just watch what I'm doing, follow it. Exactly. You can, once you learn how to do it, you can edit it and you'll become very, very uh, good at just doing whatever you want. So once we have all of this, the next thing you're going to do is the most important thing you're going to do is you're going to go and get mini mouse macro. This is going to record all of your mouse movements. So just by doing this and let's just go M space zero, just, just, just showing you. So escape. Uh, and then stop, we'll stop recording. So now I'm typing and nothing's coming up. Uh, if you want to save it, you can go to file, save, uh, save as. Uh, now this is your loop amount. So if you if you want to do it in, uh, infinite, uh, type the word loop, or if you want to do a thousand at a time, you just hit a thousand, make sure the box is checked and it would loop this a thousand times. So delete. Clear. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one example. Now I'm not up to NFT uh, one. Uh, so I'm just going to update that really quickly. All right, here we are guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to record every single button uh, and then we're going to play it on a loop and see how we go. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add, we're going to start recording. We're going to click on 2821, control C, click on add item. 
Now it's going to remember exactly where your mouse clicks every time. Now I'm going to go over to Browse Mini on your device, click on that, Control V, hit Enter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to the spreadsheet, hit Moonmates, Control C, I'm going to hit down on the directional pad. This is going to open up my infinite loop for the next time. So now next time it's going to come and hit 2822 once we've uploaded 2821. Now I'm going to come back over, I'm going to click on item name, control V. Now I'm going to come back over to my second spreadsheet, click on Moonmates, nft.com, control C, external link, control V. Now I'm going to come back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit tab twice, once, twice. Now that's just to get the description actually on the screen. Then I'm going to come back over, get my description, control C, come back over, control V. Once I've clicked on description, I'm going to hit tab a whole bunch of times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now it's highlighting create. I'm going to hit the enter button. Now it's going to load. Now loading times are going to be different for everyone. Congratulations. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the escape key. Then I'm going to come back over and click on Moonmates NFT. Now, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that it's on number 46. So if you use a hotkey, you can just stop it there. Otherwise, if you do come over and hit stop, you've just got to delete the last two clicks. Okay, so now what do we have? We have successfully uploaded 2821. And now we want to loop that so that we come in to 2822 in just a second. All right, so you want to make sure that everything's every step there was followed. We're back on the main page with the NFTs in your collection. Uh, so now you're back into the add item. So if I hit loop, if I hit play here, it would run all of those commands again, this time taking 2822 and 2822. So let's run it again. Taking 2822. It's copying it. It's going to run over to the... I'm just going to fast forward this part, to be honest. <laughs> you don't need me to explain it again. All right, so that's done. Now there's a couple of things that we need to do just to speed this process up. So over here, you can see step one through to step 46, and you, it was counting down the bottom as we we're going through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here. Now this is the amount in milliseconds, so 1.6 seconds. Now I'm gonna adjust this in every other step other than other than left click release. We're going to keep that at 80 as an example. So I'm going to go through and edit every one. Okay, we're back. Now I've edited everything down to 250. Uh, left mouth, mouse click lifts at whatever they were previously. Uh, the only thing I've adjusted here is the control V to the image. So when you click on browse mini on your device, there is a slight pause there. Um, so basically internet connection, uh, I guess it can be different. So I put out 1.5 just to be safe. Uh, you can certainly put it down to less and just test it. The next one is after you upload. So you hit create. It'll then load the image uh, and go to the next page. That sometimes does take three to five seconds. Uh, so I've got it set at 5.5. And then after that, uh, I hit the escape key and then 1.5 seconds to click back onto Moonmates uh, at the top left corner, which brings you back to your collection. So now that I've edited everything down uh, to a faster pace, uh, I'm gonna hit play and it will upload 2823. Now it normally takes me about a minute thereabouts uh, 
maybe just under um, after you know I've, I've done it for so long uh, to do it manually that being said if I was to do 100 in a row by the time I was doing my 100th one it'd probably take me five minutes to upload that one um, but let me run it in real time and let's see uh, if it works all right we'll play it the first time just to see if it works and then if it does work we'll loop it a couple of times so this is all real time I'm not touching anything you can see down the bottom right hand corner step by step 22 26 and so on it's doing everything as planned just making sure we get to the end great so this is the loading stage this is where I've set 5.5 seconds uh, and then to hit the escape then it's a 1.5 seconds to hit that and now we're done and theoretically we could move straight into hitting add item again so that's exactly what I'm going to do here I'm going to come back over here I'm going to set a loop now obviously you can do a thousand I'm just going to set a loop of five and let's just see this run out let's go so 2825 getting uploaded now in relation to the nfts themselves i used uh hash lips hash lips nfts uh program to, to get all this done so with without him uh, i could not have done any of this work so what i'll do is i will certainly leave a link in the description uh to some of the work uh, i think it's github uh there so this is all working fine you can see the number at the top right hand corner is going down so it's four left so you can see that one loaded a little bit quicker as well so it's going to take a little while hit moon mates add item bang we're back into it so 28 27 it's working perfectly so as soon as this one uploads i'm going to hit uh, my hotkey for stop and i've just hit it now done you created moon mate 28 27. now the only thing i'll add is if you want to do properties you can create a third uh, Google Sheet and have it run the exact same way. So for an example, I've got this one. Uh, this one is for uh, properties. So this one will add in my properties uh, and then we'll just paste in coming soon. Uh, and if I had an Excel spreadsheet with all of my metadata, uh, I could easily just run a system just like the first spreadsheet where I hit down after every single one uh, or across to get to the next one and just copy and paste it in. Obviously, it's not going to take, uh, you know, 10 seconds to do every single NFT. It'll take a little bit longer. Um, but for me, I'm just doing the accessories, the categories, the properties uh, with coming soon. And then when I sell every single one, um, I'll upload. So I'll sell the first 100 as an example. And I'll just, as I put them up, I'll edit the, uh, the background, the planet, uh, the suit, and all of that information. So let me show you how that one works. So it's pasting it in. It's all doing the same stuff. It just, the only thing that changes is when we get to properties. A couple of tabs couple of enters and then it comes over and does the same process remembering that it, it clicks on the exact same location every time so you can see um, down click down on the bottom right hand corner where it says 863 231 that's the I guess longitude latitude of the click the 250 is the time uh, in the break from the last uh, action so half a second for some 1.2 seconds for some 250 for some uh, so that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment uh, and I can certainly uh, get back to you uh, with some updates. But I think that's about it. Uh, don't forget to like this video. You definitely don't have to uh, subscribe because I won't make another video. I have nothing else, no more content. Um, but I just want to get this video out there. Um, so like it so that other people can see this uh, who are having the same questions and queries as you were for you to watch this. So this is all done. I'm going to hit stop again. You created Moonmate 2829. Feel free to come over and like some of my NFTs because no one likes them. Thanks, guys.